Hey YouTube comic community, this is Jimmy the Geek Aficionado, and I am back with another haul. Uh, this store is in the north side of Chicago. It's called Grindhouse, G-R-E-Y-N-D. And I was able to stop here before I went to the airport uh, to pick somebody up and had some time to kill and found a few books. Uh, we'll start this off with a beautiful copy of Deja Thoris Winter's End with a cover by uh, Linsner. Uh, I believe it's Joseph Linsner, yeah. If I, if I recall correctly. And just another, you know, beautiful, stunning job uh, that he does with, uh, with those covers. If you're familiar with Dawn, that's uh, one of his creations and where he started, but he's done several of the Deja Thoris and Red Sonia and so he's done some Betty Page and other stuff for, for Dynamite Comics and, and just doing a really great job of it. I got that one and I got this. This is Demon Days X-Men number one variant by Mark Brooks uh, and his trademark Psylocke goodness. Uh, just tremendous the work that, uh, that he does. Uh, big fan, personally, and really enjoy his art. So I'll pick it up when I can. Uh, I missed this one. I don't know how. I, I just really haven't been focused on, on new stuff these days. Uh, but this is sword number one. Uh, nothing special about it. Just, you know, needed to pick it up. So interested to read that guy. These were pretty cool. Uh, I, I got the first issue... Uh, nice high grid copy of the first issue, but I wanted to get the rest of the mini series. So when I find them, I will uh, grab them. Uh, this is issue number two of the Century, featuring Robert Reynolds there. A little uh, little little muffin top going on. He's a little out of shape for being the Century. Uh, and this is issue number three, featuring Spider Man. I have all the one shots of the series. I just don't have the actual limited that uh that was put out uh these covers are by j lee j a e lee uh, and he does a, a great job with it so still looking for four and five we'll round on those as soon as we can and then i'll be able to read that little guy uh oh there's a lot of books out there especially golden age books that uh, i do not have the means to get at this time uh so it is nice to have placeholders, though, and this is one of those placeholder-type books. This is DC Comics Millennium Edition of Wiz Comics number 2, uh, featuring the first appearance of Captain Marvel, uh, the old-school original Captain Marvel. And that's just a, a fun, cool book. And just like this one, uh, there's a lot of, a lot of Submariner love going around. Uh, talk about him being in the next Black Panther movie. This is... King Size Special, number eight from the Fantastic Four. Uh, that's what we also call an annual. Uh, featuring the longest Submariner Fantastic Four super epic ever published. Uh, at least that's what it says down here. Uh, in the final defeat of the human race. So, looks like this is where Submariner and Atlantis finally attack and quote-unquote conquer humanity. Which, uh, I'm going to have to say, it probably didn't last very long. But uh, one of the few Fantastic Four books I still don't have, so I do have it now in my collection. I, I think that's it for older books. I uh, do have some um, more current stuff. And uh, let's see. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, these were great books to pick up. Uh, got these... I'm not going to say I got these for spec, but I got them to flip, right? Because when you get a book that's, you know, you can improve and slab and you can make more money on it, always a good thing. At least that's my opinion on it. Uh, and this one had a little bit of, a little bit of heat for a little while. This is issue number 128 of the new X-Men. This is where the, the long-running uh, Volume 2 X-Men series was renamed. Uh, and went through, but this is the first appearance of Phantom X. Now, if you're not familiar with Phantom X, this guy, this is issue number 129 with the co first cover and second appearance of Phantom X. Um, 
And he plays a, a pretty critical role in the more contemporary X-Men books. Uh, even up until, you know, this, this current run. Uh, he's not around anymore, but his body is, but it's inhabited by somebody else. So this is his first and second and first cover appearance. Uh, and these should press out to be 9 8 And uh, if that is the case, then they will make me a, a tidy profit. So no hating on the flippers. We're not dirty flippers. We just like to be able to use things to get, you know, buy cheap and sell high, which is the way that the world works. Now, um, I always try to get these uh, anytime I see them. Uh, this is She Psyblade, the battle for independence. Now, here's the funny thing. Um, I keep getting this particular book confused with this book. And this book, Cyblade She, is actually the first appearance of Sarah Pizzini as the Witchblade. And I keep going, oh, it's that. But no, this is, this is the better Sylvester cover as opposed to this one. Yeah, well, that may be true, but this is the second half of the, sh of the uh, story. And it, it's where it gets terrible. It's just really kooky. But this actually has a lot of meat. It has a really good story going to it. And this is the one that you want to get, right? The one, the close-up with the two heads. That's the one that's the first appearance of Sarah Pizzini. This one is not. It's just a cool cover. Uh, so I picked it up. I mean, it was like a dollar or something like that. Not a big deal. I'm not going to, not going to cry about it. And so these are the last two books that I got. I found another... Wonder Woman, Adam Hughes cover that I was missing. A little bit of Adam Hughes gloriousness that we all love. And this is the issue 151, the Pandora virus part one. So I think I've got like five or six maybe of the Adam Hughes Wonder Woman covers left to get. And then I saw this. This was this was 25 bucks, but I couldn't pass it up because it does look like it's a 9.8. And I'll probably have it slab just because it's gorgeous. This is the Michael Turner Aspen exclusive variant to Spider-Woman number one. I think it's Aspen exclusive. If it's not, anyway, it's the Michael Turner variant to Spider-Woman number one. It is just hands down amazing. I love it. Great work. Miss you, Mike. That's all the time I got. Thank you for clicking play on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and you ring the notification bell and you find out when I'm picking up great books. And we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.